Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Frogger, and I've been creating content for about a year now. And I thought to celebrate this, I would go and look at my top 5 favourite builds of this year of content. So, let's have some fun! And to start this review off, we're going back to a single player world from 117, and the village that we were transforming. Now this place is not finished, but I really enjoyed working with um, slightly different blocks, like the sandstone here, and this path is still one of my favorite paths I've done for a long time. And I particularly like this uh, area down the front in the seaside, past these market stalls, and round to this textured seafront wall. And of course, the whole thing looks really nice in shaders. Especially down here by the waterfront. We have this lovely little house here that leads through onto this beautiful sea view. My second build I want to show you is under this tree. And it is this whole area down here. We have our way down through all these lovely luscious leaves and a deep slate. And then in here, the overgrown farming area. I really love this area and I think it was the catalyst to my love for overgrown stuff in Minecraft. Of course, in shaders, this place is looking amazing, as all things do with shaders. And next we've flown over to the Northern Lights server because the next couple of builds are right here. On this server, I went super overgrown, lush, and green. And I think my favorite of these smaller trees is this little beauty up here for the parrots. We've got a wonderful couple of little trees in here and a lovely overgrown feel for our parrots to enjoy. We also have this really nice tree that looks out onto the lake. We have a wonderful corner window that you can enjoy the sunset in. It is not just the tree itself, but the texturing of the surrounding areas that I really enjoyed with this build as well. Blending the rock that it is sat on well into the lake, I think. Of course, with shaders, it is looking really lovely and luscious. And it fits perfectly in our jungle base. And while we're on the server, we may as well talk about this tree that is behind us. I really enjoyed making this tree, and I think it's come out fairly well. There are things that I would do differently, but that's the whole point of learning how to build things. You're not going to get it right first time, and I've definitely learned a lot to do with scale, and also, especially, leaves up there. And this tree is not just the outside, but it's also our interior. We have our wonderful library with all our cats. We have our brick-based kitchen area. We have a very useful storage area. And we have our little bedroom. Of course, with shaders, this place is looking amazing as well. And my final build is a little bit of a cheat because the video hasn't come out yet but it is this wonderful dead tree. The video should be out fairly soon of this tree, and I am looking forward to showing you all how I built it. I love the kind of dead area surrounding it, and the curve of the tree, as well as the mixture of glow lichen roots and stripped wood in amongst the normal wood, really does give it a feeling that this tree is not doing very well. with shaders. Looks great as always. So I hope you've enjoyed this look through some of my old builds. It has been really nice for me to go back and have a look at my first world and also through the Northern Lights world. And I've really enjoyed this year of content and I've enjoyed everyone who has been along the journey with me. And I look forward to more. So thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye bye!